To be a contestant, Rocky Wisconsin and Red Carpet Lanes North, it's the bowling game with your hosts, Lee Rothman and Tom Cole. Hey, it's the bowling game. Give him a hand. Hello, baby. Thank you very much. And from the bowling capital of the entire world, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, this is the Thursday night edition of the bowling game of the date, believe it or not, February 11th. Good. Doesn't that mean anything to you? No. February 11th? Why should it? Well, I'm not going to tell you if you don't know. We have two teams tonight that finished 13th and 14th in the top, the top 16. Do yeah. you realize that? Yes. One had 338, one had 336. We would like to introduce the team that's in 13th place, the ladies' team. They bowl at Doysters for their sponsor, Jerry Brown. Brown Plumbing! <laughs> ah, the ladies, all right. Team number two tonight, they finished in 14th place in the top 16, and they, uh, they came in at 336 total. Bowl for their sponsored Continental Can at Brownport Lanes. Let's hear real loud for the Supers. And it's going to be a super battle tonight because we're being brought to you by the folks who make Miller Beer, Miller High Life, because now if you look at your watch, it is Miller time. Yeah, it is. It really is. Have you got the time? They got the beer. Got anybody else? Yes, as a matter of fact, we have somebody who makes product that goes well with Miller beer. Yeah, be wiser by... Geysers, Geysers potato chips. Thomas? All right, we're going to talk about the match that took place on Tuesday night show. We were not on last night, of course, because of the movie special. But we had a battle of the sexes on Tuesday night, and Ernie's Bungalow Tap, the men's team, beat the ladies' team. The first men's team to win so far in the battle of the sexes during the tournament. Ladies won both matches last week. Final score, Ernie's 351, the Boogie Bowlers 279. So the men advance into the quarterfinals, and that's a, a few shows down the road. Ladies and gentlemen, good luck tonight. We have prizes for the high man bowler of the tournament and for the lady bowler. And right now the score is to beat 90 in the men's division and 77 right now in the ladies' division. Good luck. Once again tonight, Thomas, we will have the treasure chest. Chance for them to reach in. Last night we gave away three TV sets. Fantastic. Amazing. Money, let's make it 160 bucks. And introduce Marion Matusen and Mel Cheddar. Come on out, you two. Shake hands, make it official. All right, now, 338, your team finished 13th. You're not superstitious at all? No. no. Doesn't bother you? Nope. Okay. That's my lucky number. That's your lucky number? Tom, should we tell her the facts about that particular number? No. <laughs> Never mind. Mel, come on over here. Your uh, mascot is kind of watching us tonight, isn't he? Yeah, little John. He's only big John, we call him, but he's really little, okay, like about five, one and a half. And, and he's uh, watching? Yeah, yeah, he's watching. Wishing you luck? Yeah, okay. Yep. You want well, to probably going to kick us all, but that's all right. <laughs> Last time on the show in 87. Oh, I got lucky. That was terrific, and you had a 70. Yeah. What's your average? About 180. 162. Make him the favorite, huh? No. No? Nah? <laughs> Marion Brzezinski is your bowling buddy, and Mrs. Holtz, William C. Holtz, is your bowling buddy. You ready? Yep. Go on over there, and we wish you luck. Yes, we do. And let's talk about yeah. the picket fence prize on the show. A bet is converted. Well, it was a pretty nice prize, along with a bowling buddy, in fact, to cut perm and scalp treatment from the nice people at Exquisitely Yours, the hair experts, and they have a beautiful little shop at 1318 East Brady Street, Milwaukee. Exquisitely Yours, one of our fine sponsors. Well, Tom, I don't want to remind you that's how the ladies started off last night, too, remember? Yes, they did, and they did lose by a pretty good margin, Lee, 351 to 279. Uh, it was Tuesday night show. Yeah. And incidentally, on Tuesday night show, since we ran out of time, we didn't have a chance to go into it, the men's team that won won the jackets. Yeah, they did. They yeah, had a 351 it. total, and they won the bowling game jackets from Don Ciardo at Personalized. And uh, we congratulate them. Maybe next time they come back, they will be wearing their jackets. Well, they can't win them again. No, I mean, they, no, no, they, no. Yeah, one time only, and they've won them, so that's it. A little bit outside, Lee, and we leave the one, three, eight, nine. She's bowling for Mrs. William C. Holtz. Marion Matusen. 
Rogers. He's got to hit this one just <laughs> right, Lee, and it looks pretty good. Oh, oh, that's, that's nice. a shame. That's going to be the first open for her. And here's Mel Cheddar, T S C H E T T E R, pronounced the same as the cheese. Cheddar. 180 average bowling for the Supers from Continental Can Company. Right up there. Didn't come up enough. Lee, in a railroad ball, we saw one completed on Tuesday night show. That we did. This would be, if it is completed, the uh, furnace brain from the Associated Energy Specialists, Ray Altenbach and crew at 10820 West Janesville Road in Hales Corners. You know the way to make that? You gotta hit it head on. Head on, head boy. On. That's one of those head on crashes that pays yep. off. A little bit to either side, and you're gonna leave that eight pin sitting back there. Cover. Yes, sir. All right, here's the young lady known as Marion, M A T U S I N, Matusin. Married with children Jody and Brad, a secretary for Second Home Cemetery. Her hobby, bowling. Been bowling 10 years now, 167 average, and that's a Brooklyn. Well, Lee, that's right. Mel has won the railroad prize, and uh, we'll be awarding that to him and as the prizes are given on after this first match. Well, I didn't want to actually scare her, but Thomas being in 13th place could be a little unlucky. Lee, you're right, and the reason we say that is because the 2nd, 4th, 6th, 8th, 10th, and 12th place teams have all won. The all-even numbered teams in our top 16 have advanced into the quarterfinals. That's right. So tonight, let's see if that uh, trend continues, if the jinx is there, or if the ladies can win this one. If the ladies should win it, they will be the third ladies team to, to win. To make the quarterfinals, right, and that's a good number. Good number, three out of four. A bucket prize, Lee, we call that the dinner bucket, if it is converted here. Boy, he can win some real nice prizes. He's already <laughs> he taken it. a railroad. Anything on the menu, a delicious Italian food restaurant. Believe me, I know firsthand, I've been there many, many times. And Did that you is hear him? Yeah. He says that it could be dinner again. Leonardo's Italian Pasta House at 1601 North Jackson. Anything on the menu for the bowler, the bowler buddy, and their guests? Mel Shedder. Yes. Got it. All right. That's two big prizes he's won. Another dinner. I <laughs> <laughs> love it. Boy, and he's going to like that one, too. He loves it. Okay. Here is Marion Matusin, leadoff bowler for the ladies. Her team came in in 14th place, or 13th place, rather, with a 338 total. Right there. Yeah. Good cross. And that's the 10th frame. Hold it, a treasure chest prize. Yep. Got she gets to reach into the treasure chest. And last night, we gave away a color set and a black and white set. Oh, wow. And, uh... What was the other one? A cartridge? Uh, we gave away a GE cassette recorder. Cassette gave recorder, away yeah. A color TV, black and white. And Wisa gave away the black and white TV. You're right. Three televisions last night. Oh, boy. All right. The most she can get is 68, and Tom last time in 87, so she's not going to do as well. However, the team will not be down that much. Well, a good start for both bowlers, really, because the best uh, Mel can do is an 86 with a three-bagger. Yeah, so it'll, it'll stay fairly close. We'd like to remind the people that uh, if they want to come and watch us tomorrow night, we'll be taping two shows. Yes. One at 6 o'clock and one at 7.30. All right, she got it. And a 68 total. And then we will tape three shows on Saturday morning, starting at 9 and one at 10.30 and one at 12.30. So come and see us. It's all free, and it's at Red Carpet North, 76 in Flores, where Larry Nowak's the manager. Watch it. No. And that'll give him a 55, possible 75. And, Tom, there won't be that many pins between them. Lee, if he does not make this spare, it's a 64 and a four-pin victory for the ladies. He needs this spare for a victory. Well, it's the old four-pin. Good crowd tonight. My goodness, it's crowded. February 11th. Hi, Arlie, it is going to be a victory for the guys because, well, Mel is right now at 65, so he could have a seven-pin victory, as you mentioned. Good start for the guys. We shall return. No, about the same. About the same. 87 last time. Well, this is a good score. You didn't lose by that much. Six pins, that's not bad. And here you get the uh, delicious whipped cream tort from Rich's House of Cakes. Mmm, that's good. 
Strike in the tent, scrub it up, wash and wax for your car. From any of the scrub it up locations, they say nuts to dirty cars. But the secret frame, oh, look at right there. That would have been good for the Esser paint. Bright ideas to help color your thinking. But because you tried, we're going to give you a six pack of jolly good soda. Your favorite flavors? Good. And the losing bowler of each match is also going to get a gift certificate from exquisitely yours of 1318 Brady, the hair people. So you did okay. Thank you, dear. Give her a hand. Marion Matusen. And a chance. Oh, yeah, you're going to get a chance to reach in here. Maybe last night we gave away all sorts of good things. Read it to us. Pop and serve popcorn popper. Popcorn popper. Thank you very much. Okay, Mel, the strike in the seventh, the whipped cream tort from Riches. Scrub it up for your car. Secret frame for you is in the eighth. That would have been good for a gift certificate from Fritz Tienison at 76 in Oklahoma and downtown in South Milwaukee. We can't give you that. But Thomas, he made a couple of bonus prizes. We call them bonuses because one was the railroad. That's right, Lee, and we're going to talk about that first. And he wins the Furnace Brain from Associated Energy Specialists. 10820 was Janesville Road in Hales Corners. Now that saves up to 25% on your heating bill. And he made the dinner bucket. He made the dinner bucket, Lee. Great prize. He, along with his bowling buddy and their guests, will receive anything on the menu from Leonardo's Pasta House at 1601 North Jackson. Great Italian food, really. And a Photomat $10 gift certificate. That's going to be another prize. Those are the photo processing specialists, Photomat. And you have just earned for yourself the gift certificate. Enjoy it in the best of health. Thank you very much. Thank you. And there's the score. Super 74. That's the men's team. Brown Plumbing 68. And if a bowler makes a 4 7 10 or a 6 7 10, what's the prize? Big prize, Lee, and that's the Caroline Grandfather Clock by Ridgeway with Westminster Chimes. Big Ben Gong from Boar's Furniture Appliance and TV Center, 20411 West Janesville Road in Muskego. All right, $170 in there, and it's going to build up fast. Introducing in the corner to my right, Lorraine Erdman. In the corner to my left, Lou Lunkner. Come on out, you two. Shake hands, get to know each other. I love these colorful outfits. You're blue with red, white, and blue piping, and you have the green and white. Very attractive. Thank you. Do they go well together, the blue and the green? Oh, sure. Do they? Last time on the show, a 63. Yeah. Last time on the show, he had a 64. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's talk about averages, though. What's yours? 170. 46. 146. Who's the favorite? He is. <laughs> <laughs> You picked the name Gertrude Shackett of West Allis, and you selected Leonard Fritz of Racine. Oh, I thought I had from Dykesville. No, huh? you, you have Leonard. Okay. Well, it might be from Dykesville, but it says Racine <laughs> right here. I don't know. If you're ready, shake hands, wish each other luck, and good luck to both of you. And you are going to see a beautiful centerpiece right now. Look at that. Those are very, very unusual flowers. I've never seen flowers like that before. They call that the cyclamen. And it is a heart-shaped foliage splashed with a pewter tint, and it's topped off with safari pink orchid-type blooms, which will be on display at the annual Fountain Show, by the way, which is running now through the 14th of February at Nature's Nook, and their big Fountain Show going out there. So Nature's Nook, 16980 West National Avenue into Berlin. We salute you. Lorraine Erdman, Tom, is, uh, she lists her age here. In the morning, she is 88. <laughs> That's what she says. Be right now, she's going for a big money ball. Five, eight, ten. It would be forty-six dollars. Riding on this, if she makes. It. Oh, nice try. The Leighton State Bank. That was a beautiful try. All right, on this Thursday night, February eleventh, Lewis F. Lunkner, bowling for the Supers, sponsored by Continental Can Company. Come on. He's married to Margaret. Has been married thirty-four wonderful years. He is a man who worked at Continental Can for a long time. He's now retired, likes gardening, golf, repair work. Born in Livingston, Illinois. I haven't heard of that one, have you? Livingston? No, that's the first for me to, we yeah. might have had it, but I don't recall. I don't know. My wife and I enjoy watching the bowling game. Lee and Tom are interesting. The whole crew does a good job. And say hello to my 93-year-old father-in-law, Matt Golub, or Golub, who never misses watching the show. 93 years old. Well, we salute that gentleman also this evening, yeah. Here's Lorraine on lane 60 for Brown Plumbing, Greendale, Wisconsin. Jerry Brown. She is single. Her husband is married. Her children are Dennis, who is older than her second child, Denise, who is older than her third child, Edward Jr., who is older than her youngest, Richard, who is 22, and they <laughs> have Interesting, 13 William. grandchildren and five stepchildren. She is a building service helper, it looks like, at Milwaukee Public Schools. Likes to play sheep's head. Your game, Thomas. 
Love that game. Her mother, Goldia, is 83 years old and loves to watch the bowling game every night. In fact, she keeps score. She knows all the winning teams. Say hi to her. Okay. You know who we're going to say hi to now? Mr. Rob Thomas. Two yep. Bs, if you please. One of the great disc jockeys, Rob Thomas. Rob, last night, or rather on Tuesday night, we talked about uh, the big Valentine's party. What about tonight? What do you want to talk about? I want to talk about the Valentine's party. <laughs> that is one of, obviously, sweetheart day, right? One day a year, you get to take your, your best gal or your <laughs> wife or your sweetheart uh, to a nice place and enjoy the evening. And this is the night, Sunday, Sunday night, 14th February, Valentine's Day party at all of our Red Roosters and at Innigan's, which is our West Dallas location. Because you're being very generous, it isn't that expensive, is it? No, it's not expensive because last night, you remember, I gave you gentlemen both Valentines that did not include the free drink card, uh, but will be passed out Sunday night to all the ladies who enter our establishment, a free drink card in each Valentine for each lady. And that's for each of the uh, different locations? I beg your pardon, I'm sorry. For, for each of the locations? Each of the locations. Every Red Rooster, including Innigan's. For those who may not know, where is Innigan's, Rob? Uh, at the West Dallas Red Rooster, which is just a block south of Greenfield Avenue on Highway 100. If they want any to be a Red Rooster, we've changed. You've, you've seen the renovations. You were at the grand opening party. It's uh, magnificent. It really is. If they want more information, do you have a number to call? Uh, the number is 747-0222. Thank As you. for me personally. Rob Thomas. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. Gentlemen. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you, Rob. Good day. All here. right. Now we go to the 10th frame, and here's Lorraine with a chance at a 65, Tom. And a, a jackpot attempt, A jackpot strike pin on both lanes right now. First over to lane 60, and this ball is worth, I can't see it. 170 bucks, Lee. If she makes it, it drops down to $50 immediately. Oh, no. no. All Look right, at that. that this will be, that was our fourth attempt so far this week, and number five, actually, since Tuesday night's show. All right, now, that means the $170 can be pocketed by Lou Lunkner. Yes, Lee, and uh, she really needs the uh, spare here, Lee. Possible 55. And she's bowling for Leonard Fritz. Has she got it? Oh, she hooked away or backed up or whatever you want to call it. 44, and last time on the show is 63, so she didn't have any luck at all. Now, going for a $170 jackpot, Lou Lochner, bowling for Gertrude Shackett. He's a run in the pocket. Oh, oh. actually a board too light. So that means we'll add 10 bucks and we'll have $180 in the jackpot as we continue the Thursday night edition of our show. Red Carpet North, where we have a terrific crowd on hand and where tomorrow night we're going to have our Friday show yep. and a couple of really good tournament teams. Lead number 15 and number 16 will be here tomorrow night, and we'll talk about that coming back. We'll be right back. Not real happy, no. What were you, <laughs> what were you saying about those splits? Oh. Never mind, we're on the air. <laughs> no prizes there at all. Your secret frame is right there, and that would have been good. Oh, the toolbox could have been yours that you wanted. <laughs> there will be. <laughs> she said that as if we had written it for her. I've always wanted a toolbox. Thank you very much. We'll have some other things for you. Give her a hand. She tried. 120 to 112. Come on over here. Lou, you got them up by eight pins. You won by two, the team's up by eight, but with these ladies, you've got to be careful. They're tough. <laughs> For you, though, we got three games of bowling and a beverage anytime you choose from red carpet, secret frame way over here. That could have been a Claremore portrait of you. Wouldn't that have been nice from Claremore Portrait Studios? Can't give you that. But uh, we'll have some other prizes also for you. Thank you very much. Big victory. Two pins, better than nothing. Now, 4-6 split. I've never seen one made, Thomas. Oh, Lee, I would love to see this made. The bowler wins the use of a brand-new 1982 Ford Escort for one year from Heiser Ford at 2319 North Prospect in Milwaukee. The winner must provide the insurance for that year, but Heiser Ford's the place. This is it. $180. We had two more chances. Couldn't give it away. Gloria Van Roo and Al Strauss, the captain. Come on over, you two. Come here, Al. You ever bowl a pretty lady like this before? Never. First time? First time, yes. 
Is your heart fluttering? Oh, geez, all the way. <laughs> After that, you wouldn't dare beat him, would you? Oh, I'll give it a good whirl. <laughs> last time a 45. Uh, that was bad. <laughs> last time a 67. Right. Neither one that great, but no, this time you said you were... Right. What's your average? 175. 146. Wow. Your bowling buddy is Jerome Meyer of Sheboygan Falls. You've selected the name Mrs. Ann Curick of South 29th. You ready? Right. Ready? I'll say hi to Big Bad John, though. Big Bad John. Okay. <laughs> Good luck, you two. Bowler well, converting the uh, four strikes in a row. We saw that last, or actually Tuesday night's show. The bowler wins the $200 certificate good for various cuts of USDA prime beefsteaks roast and ground beef from Boar's Beef Ranch at 204 11 West Jeansville Road in Muskego. Remember that name, Boar's, B-O-H-R-E-R-S. That's what you used to call me when I'd speak too long. No, not you, Lee, no. Hey, Gloria. All right. Nice ball, Gloria Van Roo. Same to you. Oh, boo-hoo. And here is Alex Strauss, big, big Al, for the Continental Can Company team, the Supers. This man's been married 31 years to Virginia. He's a left-handed bowler. Yeah, a good mix and a crossover. And both bowlers start off with a strikerini. Here's Gloria Van Roo. Married to Rick for 15 years, children Scott and Todd. She's a clerk at United Parcel Service. Likes bowling and needlework. How about it? Oh! Sticky 10 pin. Bowls once a week. 146 average. Last time on the show of 45. I have a hunch she'll beat that, Tom. She wants to say hi to everyone at UPS. And you know who we know at UPS? Charlie Gilbert, the famous Charles Gilbert. One of the big poobahs over there, too. Yeah, he's one of the supervisors over there, yeah. And to all the well-wishers at uh, engine number 39. 39, 39, 39. On the 10, yeah, Gloria's doing good. Here's Al Strauss, who likes woodworking, model railroads, bowling, fishing, and cards. He's got children, Donna, Sharon, Wayne, Carol, and four grandchildren. Supervisor in uh, the assembly department, Continental Can. Been bowling 30 years now with a 175 average. Watch the hook. Three, no, not Didn't please. come up enough. Most of the bowlers have been together as a team for 11 years, he says, in an inner plant league, which has been bowling for 30 years. He wants to say hi to his mother and father-in-law, 80 years of age, who watch the bowling game every night, Mr. and Mrs. Peter Revolinsky. Oh, that sounds terrific. Familiar name. It certainly is. Jim Revolinsky, the, uh, the head pro out there at Mopsy's Golf Range, New Berlin. Oh, no, Ouch. and there's a break the ladies for the are ladies. Back. Yeah. Tom, the ladies can start making a move. They're down by eight pins in a very tight match. Very important jacket there. Uh, actually, let's talk about the jackets, Lee. 350 game or higher for the team. Each member of the team receives the nylon jacket from Don Ciardo's Champion Awards, personalized shops. Actually, it's personalized champion awards is what it is. And the two locations of 50th and Hampton and 124th out in Butler, Wisconsin. We got a money ball right here, Lee, the 4 5 Seven, so that would be double that up. Thirty-two dollars for Gloria. Thirty-two dollars for her bowling buddy. Leighton State Bank doubles it during the tournament. Twenty-seven at Forest Home. How would you make it, Thomas? Lee, I go right in between the four and the five. That's the the really the only and hope way. That the ball takes out the ten, the uh, seven. The best percentage shot right in between those two pins. Good try. Well, she takes one. That'll give her forty-six, and that's a tough break because Gloria was really going along nicely, but. That broke it right there. Tonight's splits have been the the real downfall of the ladies. Only three big splits for the ladies so far tonight. Yeah. And another mix and, and ball, comeback. light hit, and the ladies are in trouble. Well, actually, they're only down by two, unless he should go all all the way. That's his onus. Bowling for Jerry Brown of Brown Plumbing. This is Gloria Van Roo. Right there, nice ball, Gloria. We got a treasure chest winner, Lee Rothman. That's going to be the first of the ladies to read. No, Marion got a chance. That's right, Marion. In fact, she won the popcorn popper. Yeah. And if she makes a wish, a colonel will appear. Oh, please. <laughs> In his uniform, too. I hope so. I do, too. <laughs> a little cold out there to be out there without one. How about a double? Yeah. Oh. Four pin. 
All right, the most you can get is 66, and that would be a uh, 21 pin lead over last time. And yeah, I was going to say 21 pin difference from her last time on the show in a very nice performance by Gloria. Yeah. I think we have seen already tonight eight strikes tonight after three matches so far. We're not even finished because uh, Al still has a chance up there. Three bagger. Has she got it? Yes, she's got it. And that'll be a 66 for good old Gloria Van Roo for Jerome Meyer of Sheboygan Falls. That's her bowling buddy. Good game. All right, now let's figure this out. He could get an 88 and win by 22 pins. Lee, right now, let's see if he wins the treasure chest. Gets, he has to have the strike on the first ball right here. Oh, yeah. Right there. Oh, yeah. Couldn't be any better. Right there. Now the ladies are going to be down by a couple of marks. The next two bowlers will be Charlene Harry, no relation to Deborah, of Blondie, yeah. and Dick Trommer. Be a possible 88. Yeah. You know the 22 pins. One more. No. By the most he can get now. It'd be a 77. 77. Right? You can get 57 here and a possible 77. But a good game. A victory. Another victory. Three in a row now for the guys. Well, Tom, that would be 11 pins added on to the eight. So it would be, as I mentioned, two marks down. Lee, in comparing this night or adding up this night with Tuesday night, show that it's eight victories in a row for the men over the ladies. Eight victories in a row. What do you think? Has he got it? All right. And a big 77. And the ladies find themselves down by almost two marks. Well, right now, we're making news here. We're going to make news elsewhere. Jane Jeffrey, News Watch 18. We'll be back. Proving once again in poker that a pair of sevens beat a pair of sixes, you have lost the game. However, 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 last time only a 45, so you went up 21 pins. Much better. Much better. This strike is going to get you the whipped cream tort from Rich's House of Cakes and the scrub it up for your car with the underbody flush and the wax, the hot wax too, and the secret frame right there. That would have been good for an ounce of silver from Badger State, rare coin and precious metals. But you had a strike on the first ball in the 10th and that means without looking, without looking, read you in there and read it. Men's bull of a watch. A bull of a watch. Congratulations, that is terrific. Thank you very, very much. All right, Al. See if you can do that well. You get the same prize there, the whipped cream tort, and a pizza from Roseanne's at 2600 North Booth. Oh, you'll love that. In the 10th, the scrub, the uh, rather the uh, uh, wash from Scrub It Up, yeah. And the double is a case of wholesome products from Wholesome of Waukesha. Everyone tasty and delicious. You did a little better on your secret frame. Look at here, right? Al and his bowling money win a gift certificate from Hulper's Tropical Fish at 4321 West North Avenue. <laughs> Just what he needs, he said. Now, here is Tom Silvernagel to let you reach into the treasure chest. Without looking, what do you have? That side is I blank. I got my glasses on. You haven't got your glasses? Restaurant file A restaurant file box. I don't know what it means, but good luck. <laughs> 197 for the Supers, Brown Plumbing 178. Tom, if a person makes a 710 split on this show, what's the prize? Well, the, this is valued in the thousands, by the way. The complete Pennsylvania house bedroom set from Colder's Furniture Showplace at 650 South Highway 100, Milwaukee, Colder's. 190 bucks, $190. Here's Charlene Harry and Dick Trummer. Go on, you two. That's a good guy. Wish her luck and everything right. Charlene, uh, 64 last time on the show. Right. And you had a 56, which would make her a slight favorite right. until we get into averages. 165. 158. Then he'd be, well, it cancels it out, right? right. No favorites. Hedwig St. George is your bowling buddy, and you selected the name Rose Tutaj of East Linus. Okay, you ready? Right. Ready. Good luck to both of you. May the better bowler win. Our high man bowler of this current tournament is going to win a very nice prize. Actually, a couple of nice prizes, folks. First of all, we'll talk about the three-piece dining set from Fran Ellen Dinette Company at 3170 South 27th Street, the little store with a big name in Dinettes. <coughs> and that gentleman who also won a 12 by 15 or 20 yards of TCC can go back 100% nylon carpet completely installed from Carpet Liquidators at 5331 West Center Street, Milwaukee, a choice of five colors. Tom, a couple of the people in the audience said to me, uh, 
You're not joking with them tonight. And we should explain that in a tournament, we don't stay up there and fool around like we do during the, no, the roll-off. We have a lot of prizes to award. We try to keep everything to a minimum so we have a lot more time to do what we have to get done. Yeah, we feel it's more important for them to be out there bowling than it is to stand up there. So don't, during the uh, tournament, we do not take time at the board. We get up. We get them up there, we ask them their uh, previous high, or if they don't know, we tell them their previous high, and uh, we get their average, and that's it. We send them out to bowl. And so far, the ladies are in trouble. 19 pins down, Lee yep. Rothman, 19. Continental can, men's team, the Supers, 197, Brown Plumbing, 178. Yeah, let's see, boy, Dick Dick really hit that pocket well, and that should have been a strike. A stubborn 10-pin didn't want to go down, but he got it on the square. All right, there it is. In the eighth frame, Charlene Harry, single, engaged to Dave. Uh, Rosco, what would you call that, Michael, Mackle? I guess, or McColl. M-A-C-H-O-L-L. -L. That's her, that's her financy. Fin no, that's finance. She is a typist at Aetna Life Insurance Company. Like skiing, needlepoint, painting, cards. She's been bowling 14 years with a very respectable 158 average. She's had a 236, and listen to this, a 649. Good series, real good series. But can she get this spear right here, Lee? 3-5, yes. Just barely, but she got there. And she wants to say hi to uh, Chief Buana, Randy, Cindy, and the Over the Hill Gang. Chief Buana? Yeah, Chief Buana. Ah. Okay, how? We did that. And how? We said hi to Chief Buana. Yeah. And how? Nice ball, but he's going to be stuck with a seven pin. Dick Trommer bowling for Continental Can. His wife is Yvonne. He has children Jeff, Debbie, and uh, Jerry, and Jason. Production supervisor, Continental Can. Likes hunting, woodworking. Been bowling 12 years, and Tom, he's had a 736. 246, 253, and 237. Not badly. Let's talk about the 5-7 or 5 10 foot conversion. Right. Wins for the bowler. Two prizes, and the bowling buddy, too, gets one of them. First of all, the $35 gift certificate goes to the bowler and the bowling buddy from Sherlow Samples and Clothing, Brookfield and Delafield. Shirley and Lois, great ladies' children's fashions, and they also deal in some men's clothing, I believe, now. Yeah. The Gifts bowler wins Yeehaw, that fire there, cow poke, the $60 certificate from Cowboy Store, 7860 South 27th Street, No Creek. We got a double prize on this lead, 310, I am out of breath. You talk about it. <laughs> yes, sir, I tell you, they're coming fast and furiously. This is two prizes. We have that gift certificate from Kolb's, K-O-L-B-S, Kolb's Flowerland, home of beautiful flowers, and an album or tape from Total Eclipse out there in Menominee Falls. There you go. Dennis Montigny. Hey, you got it. yes! And that was the 310, baby split. Tom Dick Trommer, who's up there right now, says that the reason he likes to bowl is to get out and enjoy some arbor goots. <laughs> I like that, that's a good idea. <laughs> For those who may not know, ask your neighborhood bartender. He'll explain it to you. And then uh, go home warm. Yeah, <laughs> go you will go warm. home on the coldest night feeling warm all over. He wants to say hi to his grandma who watches the program all the time. Hey, by the way, Lee, we have had four splits tonight all by the ladies' teams. That's a big factor, I think, right now in the score and the difference in the score. The ladies have had four splits, the men none. He's bowling for Rose Tutaj of East Linus. Yeah, yeah. Well, tonight at 8 o'clock following our tournament action, it's a chiller of a movie called The Other. Good movie. That's an excellent movie, by the way. Uda Hagen and Diane Moldauer. This drama depicts an 11-year-old twin boys who cause unexplained death and destruction in Connecticut, wherever they go. Back in 1935, it's scary. At 10 o'clock, Candace Bergen. Wow. On uh, the Saturday night show. 11 o'clock, Fathom with Raquel Welch. <laughs> a woman parachuter is hired to recover some equipment. Later discovers that he's a criminal and the equipment is stolen goods. It all happens in the Mediterranean. And then Bucks basketball, Saturday night. Good ball. <laughs> Hold it. Hold it. Dick. Hold it, Dick. Come on back, Dick. Give her a chance to finish up. One more ball. No, well, Lee, Dick, Dick is going for an all-spear game. That's why he's getting excited here. Ask me who they're playing Saturday night, The Bucks are playing who? Chicago Bulls. Ah, our arch rival from down south. 7.30? Yeah. And I think that game's in Chicago. Yes, it is. Okay, Dick. 
62. And a 62 score for Charlene. Not a bad game. And Dick's got a chance now to make some big money. The jackpot is up. $190 ball. Boy, I tell you, Charlene is consistently 64-62. $95 for him, $95 for his bowling buddy. If Dick Cromer can do it. We haven't seen the uh, jackpot one this week. Good looking ball. There it is. Yeah, right there. He did, it. he did it. There it goes. He won the jackpot. He won the treasure chest prize. The whole shot. He timed that beautifully. And what he did for the uh, men's team, Tom, is give him another victory. And that will be four in a row. Yeah, four victories in a row for the men. And since Tuesday night show, that is nine victories in a row, men over the ladies. Individual battles. Oh, boy, a shaky seven, so that's a 75. That'll be another 13. And what will the difference be there, Thomas? The uh, 75, or I'm sorry, yeah, 75 would be 13 pins. Yeah. That on to the 19, 32 would be the 32. Difference. Okay. We'll be right back with the battle of the anchor bowlers. Gentlemen, I noticed that your anchor bowl is going to have a big job. The only prize for you is the scrub it up for the spare in the tenth. You needed a strike there. Would have been a gift certificate from Exquisitely Yours, which we cannot give you. Sorry to say. But there will be some other prizes forthcoming, and uh, it's not over yet. No, we save our best for last. Thank you very much. Well, the baby split. Yeah, she got a 310, Tommy. We can't forget that. Baby See? split prize. Charlene wins a couple of prizes, Lee. First of all, the gift certificate for a record or album of her choice, a tape or an album, I should say, from Total Eclipse, the Falls Plaza, Menominee Falls, and also the uh, dozen roses or bouquet of her choice from Kolb's Flowerland, 132nd and Capital, much. 56 and Center. And Dick. Almost an all-spare game there, but you ruined it with that strike. <laughs> and along the way, that strike brought you a $190 jackpot, which you're going to split with Rose Tutaj. That's nice. In two and a half seconds, you made all that money. The strike in the 10th also was the scrub it up for your car. Secret frame for you was right there. That would have been good for a gift certificate from Kolb's Flowerland, which we can't give you. But you had a strike on that first ball in the 10th. So without looking, reach into the treasure chest. No, only one. He's got two. Take <laughs> Okay. There it is. Black and white TV set. A TV set. Congratulations. Thank you very much. You can sit down now. 272 to 240. Tom, an 810 or a 79 split. What are we going to do about a... Well, the, our friends out of Waukesha are going to give away a real nice prize. The Ultra Kinetic Water Conditioner from Milky Water Conditioning Company. Do it the Milky Way. They're at 1413 Summit Avenue in Waukesha. All right, we've got to build this back up, make it $60 as we introduce Kathleen Hamilton and Al Chemnitz. Come on over, you two. We've got to get you out there. 79 last time. Right. 79 last time. You both had a 79 yes. last time. What's your average? 187. 170. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Your bowling buddy is, is Laura Feeney of North 24th. You've selected Tom Van Emperen, or Emmeren, looks like, E-I-M-E-R-E-N. You ready? Good luck to both of you. This is the match that'll tell the story. And for a perfect game of the show, that's six strikes in a row. The baller is going to win the use of a brand new 1982 Toyota to sell from Heiser Toyota at 505 North Main Street in Thingsville, Wisconsin. Heiser Toyota. Last match, ladies down by 32 pins. That is certainly well, they can come back from that. Oh yeah, no we've seen them come back from 60 pin Big deficits. Ones, yeah. However, Thomas. Uh, if they should lose, well, then we uh, we are down to two ladies' teams in the quarterfinals. League. Well, that's not what I meant. The what? jinx again. Oh, the, you're right. Yeah, it would be eight in a row. It'd be eight in a row. First time Actually, in the seven. history It'd be of the seven show. Seven in a row. Seven in a row. Right. Every even number team in the top 16 would have won their match. That's two, correct. four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Now this one isn't over yet. Oh, did no, that one hurt? Not. Oh, I think. Just... Oh, his finger is sore, Thomas. It could be. Uh, some kind of a miracle if it could be fatal <laughs> no no but i mean suddenly his finger started to swell and i wonder if those ladies who are sitting over there sticking pins in his dowel know something we don't i don't know but somebody will get him a jar of ice real quick his finger started to swell up that's a little better yeah all right there's a break for the ladies here's kathleen kathleen hamilton 
Ellie, let's talk real quickly about the 4-6 split conversion that Bola would win. The use of a brand-new 1982 Ford Escort from Heiser Ford at 2319 North Prospect Avenue in Milwaukee. Heiser Ford. Her husband's name is Roger. She has children Dawn, Dwayne, and Deanne. She's an underwriter at Northwestern Mutual. Big 170 average. That would be about uh, 40 pins over average average. Yeah. Every average average. Average average Every for above women. average. Yeah. She likes camping, bowling, cross-country skiing, sitting on the bleachers watching her kids play baseball, basketball, and football. <clears throat> All right, nice ball. She's a member of the 600 Club. Special hi to Uncle Lindy and her co-workers at uh, Northwestern Mutual. That's better. A little high. Ooh, oh, got all a right. tough split. Al Chemnitz for Continental Can. And his finger is definitely hurting. We you know, when, when you sit throughout an entire evening, sometimes those things happen. That's right, Lee. That's right. And right now, he needs this spiritually. Cannot afford to have two opens in a row here. He gets a tough opponent. He's got it. Boy, that's a big ball. He's been married to Joan for 25 years and has children Scott and Stephen. All right, back to Kathleen Hamilton, who's praying for some sort of a miracle to happen here. Yeah, I want to talk real quick about the 710 split that has converted the bowler wins the complete Pennsylvania house bedroom set from Colder's Furniture Showplace at 650 South Highway 100 Milwaukee. 32 Lee, she's going for an all spirit game if she can convert this right here. Keep yeah, it, keep the string going. You see what the problem is, where she needs big counts, she's getting sixes. Yeah, and Lee, and, and really what she does need, she needs a double in here somewhere, double the strikes. Kathleen Hamilton needs this. She didn't get it. That could be the end of the line right there. Because of Al Marks, the lady's going to be down by over three marks with one frame to go. The only thing that would save her would be a three-bagger and then maybe. Al needs to mark also. There's no doubt about it. Right there. Good hit. Too bad. All right. That will give him 38. Or 28, rather. So the ladies have actually picked up four, four pins. Tough. Now let's see how Al makes this 10 pin. He's a righty, and uh, that sometimes happens to be the worst pin of the alley for all us righty bowlers. Got it. All right, now this has to be a strike. There are, there are no other ways Lee, around it. No doubt about it. She really needs to strike. And, and actually, it looks pretty dismal right now for the ladies. Oh, that's and it. It's over. It's that's over it. now because already well, Al has 61. got... Al's already at 38, Lee, so yeah. the men have got it at, got it one. And the curse continues. Continues. That means every even-numbered team all the way through 14 now have won their match. Now, tomorrow night, yeah. are we going to see that? Happen tomorrow night. The teams, by the way, will be Cantique versus SNS Food Distributors. 331 versus 326. Well, that's going to be an even 50 for Kathleen. She's not too happy about that. But Thomas, this is the most unusual, uh, or one of the most unusual tournaments we've ever had when this has been a, a pattern, a trend that started on the first Lee, night and continued this. right along. Well, that it's all over. The men have won it. It's a 7 9 split, though, right there. Here is the. Uh, Water conditioner from Milky, 30, if he makes Oh, yeah. This. I was going to give him $32, but that's no, no, not no. on this, this one. Is, this is the Milky Water Conditioner from Milky Water Conditioning. He's had a 279 and a 704, Thomas. We'll be right back. <laughs> them all. I know. I all noticed. Fine. Too. <laughs> <laughs> you just happen to notice that. Well, we can't give you a thing there. No prizes. Your secret frame was in the eighth, and a strike would have gotten you a whole batch of delightful stationery from the printer. 3801 North Oakland, which we can't give you. There will be other prizes for you, of course, and I'm sure you want to wish them success in the tournament. Certainly. Best You're of right. luck. <laughs> and we have to say goodbye to your team, and that's the second ladies' team we've lost. And we only have four, so we can't afford to lose anymore. Oh. And what were those famous words you said to me? Oh, <laughs> one of the ladies' teams left is going to win. <laughs> win the whole tournament. Right. That's her prediction. <laughs> All right. Give her a hand. She tried, and Al... You also tried. You had a little problem there. What happened to your thumb? I don't know. It's stuck, I guess. It starts swelling up yeah. a little bit, huh? Final 327 to 290, and no prizes there for you either because the secret frame was in the ninth. That would have been good for Jefferson Meats, a big package of it. 
Speaking of that, somebody's going to get some of that in a little bit later. I think it's Lorraine who's going to get some Jefferson meat. Thank you, and your team will be back. All right, Thomas, up to you. All right, Al is our high bowler tonight, 77. Winswood is bowling about the oil and villa change for their domestic cars. Venus Ford on East Lane Avenue and Cudahy. Lorraine was low with a 44. Winswood are bowling buddy the plant from the greenhouse of Nature's Nook on National Avenue in New Berlin, 16980 West National Avenue. Also a transmission tune-up and filter for their cars from Accurate Transmission. Four locations. And as you mentioned, Lorraine wins the Golden Bologna Award. Lee from Jefferson meets a ring of bologna. Hey. Lorraine. <laughs> Turn around so they can see you. <laughs> On behalf of the Jefferson Meat Company, we want you to have that ring bologna as a symbol of excellence in bowling. Thank you. That's the <laughs> Golden Bologna Award. Thank you very, very much. All right, now the cash frame. Where's Mel? Mel, did, did Mel win? It was in the ninth. No, he did not have a strike there. That would have been $18 for him. However, the losing team tonight will get $50 to remember us by. Not per bowler. $10 per bowler. And the winning bowling buddies will get $10. And the losing bowling buddies will get $5 in cash. The winning team bowlers will get the six-pack of beer. That's the men's team. And, uh, of course, everybody's going to get potato chips from Geysers. They're going to like that. Losing team bowlers will get the bowl of real chili. And a certificate also that goes with that for the Mexican buffet at El Vagabond. And while you're there, you can see the free lounge show. It's not free unless you're there representing the bowling game. All bowlers are going to get a bowling game chocolate trophy from quality candy shops to either look at or to eat. And Thomas, tomorrow night? We'll have number 15 and number 16, Lee, and will the even number team win tomorrow? They've done it all the way through now. Seven in a row. Seven in a row. Tonight we've been sponsored by Geysers, and they say... Be wiser, by Geysers. And by Miller Beer. If you got the time, we got the beer. Thank you very much for being with us. Now stay tuned for the great motion picture, which follows and which I can't remember. Mm -hmm.